Oh, jeez. After being in that shithole, I had to go eat something. So I had McDonald's. Something the equivalent of shit. <laughs> oh, jeez. Although, I'm not gonna lie, for once it was actually kinda decent. It, it seemed like they cooked the burger as soon as I got up to the window. So it was like actually fresh, I guess. Or as fresh as McDonald's can get. Which I imagine is not very. Anyway, welcome back everybody to more Let's Play Banjo Tooie! With your host, MJ406. And, well, we gotta get Mumbo again because we need him to help throw more EMPs at things. Reminds me of one of my college professors. One of the, uh. Whoops. I didn't mean to say no. Not at the moment. Damn it! Reminds me of one of my college professors for, uh. Back when we had to do senior design presentations for computer slash electrical engineering. He freaking actually asked for, like. Well. It was more like if you did so well, they couldn't think of any questions. Because you explained your project really well. That guy would be the one professor to be like, but can I survive an EMP attack? Are, are, are you are you kidding me? Why why would you ask that? Number one, probably most likely no. Number two, you're a dick for not having a better question. Oh, what an ass. <coughs> but yeah. So there you go. Really impressed the professors. Try to make your thing try to make your electronics thing impervious to EMP attacks. Yo, uh, yo. Then Oh, they'll be impressed. No, let's screw up this electromagnet while I'm thinking about EMPs. Sounds making it shut down, it's making it go nuts. So, how long do I have had? 90 seconds. Makes sense, because I gotta go through two transformations. Well, two changes. First change is to go back to Banjo Kazooie. Let's go. All right, find the game. Put it in. Turn it on. Turn on Banjo Kazooie now. Oh, we're still playing Banjo Tooie. Oh, that'd be stupid if somebody actually thought I was serious. All right. This is the last thing we'll need Mumbo for. As long as I do it right, which as long as I'm not stupid, this should be easily done. Let's go! We're almost there. Alright, time to show off what Wumba has in store for us. Because I haven't visited her yet. It would really suck if I forgot the Globo. But I remembered I got it, so I'm not worried. Here you go, Humba Wumba! Take your damn Globo and transform me into something amazing. Something that really screams, I'm from a factory! What the hell? Is that? Is a washer? I'm a freaking washing machine. Are you, woman? Do your own chores. Oh my god, that's sexist. I'm kidding. Let's go. But now I'm a washing machine, so I'm heavy enough to do this. And I got wheels. So this throws electromagnet thing on a loop. Yeah, there we go. Run right to the door. Now I can go to the repair depot. That's what that is useful for. Oh, wait. Now the magnet's just going to shut down and be broken forever. So. Hooray for me. I completely broke the damn thing. Now there's no need for Mumbo at all because it's forever broken, apparently. Once the door's open, they're like, oh no, we can't repair the magnet. That means it can't work anymore at all. What? I don't get it, but uh, what, whatever. Okay. Okay, now that I'm the washing machine, I can get a lot of things done. Ow. Now, I'm not really good at hacking him, though. It's nice that they got the washing machine to actually be worth something in this game, unlike Banjo Kazoo, or it's just a joke. They turn into an actual freaking form to use in this one. Good on them! So, now I go to the dirty workers. I can try to clean them, I mean, I don't have any, like, detergent or anything, but. You're just gonna have to trust me. Oh no, you're nude! Good thing they didn't draw anything weird on you. So here you go. 
All of a sudden, it cleaned you up like you got a shower, too. So your other skibby workmates need it, too. Five others. Man, you guys need to learn to wash a lot better. Well, there's one out here, so I'll go get that one first. So yeah, the main purpose of the washing machine is to basically wash all the freaking employees. Also, this is invulnerable to an alligator because it's a machine, so I don't even have to hop on the platforms. Heavy soil wash? No problem. I mean, I'm guessing that's what I did last time, unless the other one spread the word that I fucked up. There we go. Only four skimmy workmates left. Oh, jeez. I thought that was me doing the woohoo! I was like, oh god, that's a weird sound for a washing machine to make. Then again, I am coughing. Yeah, that, is, that sounds like Banjo coughing up underwear. I mean, I am coughing up underwear through the machine, but that's beside the point. How can you go up those stairs so well? That doesn't make sense. Okay, let me see. Don't think there's anything else I can do here, so I'll leave. Ah! Don't kill me! Yeah, so let's see. I can't use war pads anymore, by the way. Because I get to use the service elevator. Ooh, fancy. Let's go up the service elevator. Now let's go down the service elevator. I mean, still coming up. My bad. No! No, these nuts and bolts, man. Now I'm mechanical personnel. I can actually get through this thing. So I can properly wash this skivvy workmate here. If I can find the ramp first. I'm like a handicapped personnel as well, because I can only run on wheels. I can still go up some stairs, but, well, ramps are better. If you want mine, make sure I run up ramps and not stairs. Let's get the hell out of here. It's so nice I can just, ow, go in whenever I want. Okay. So let's see. There's only a few more left. Let's go to floor one. I know there's two here. Because you remember, there's one in the basement. Whoops. Didn't mean to go down there. Let's go down the basement first. He's right in here. At least you're in a weird mumbo wallpaper room. I don't know. If this was my room, I'd be freaking the hell out at this wallpaper. I'm like, why the hell are all these weird little shaman things staring at me with their goddamn crazy feathery skulls? Good lord. Whatever, get the hell out of here. Poor thing's are even worse. Okay. Next up is you. Yeah, no problem. Just throw them in. Not like you have a choice. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat your clothes. Here, you can have them back. I don't like the taste of them anyway. Just one more. I wonder where he is. Shit. Shit. Well, that makes things a little awkward. I'm not going down there, because I can't do anything down there. I need to go on every floor at least once. All right, here you go. You try to take it? Mechanical personnel may not use the more pads. Use the service elevator instead. That's discrimination, my friend. Then again, this place seems like it's very bad with discrimination. I mean, freaking... They only allow mechanical personnel into certain things, probably because they're filthy. This place sucks. Alright, floor three, you're up. Either Jiggy or the last skimmy workmate is up here. Or a combination of things. Let's see. Ah, there we are, the boiler plant. That I would be happy to go into. Thank you very much. Ah, it's the last Skippy work me. Now, let me wash your shit. I'm a washing machine, and I'm hungry. Blah. The clothes taste like crap. At least feed me actual food. And again, it's probably not a good idea to leave food in the washing machine. Wallets are a good plus, though. Please leave your wallet in the washing machine so I can actually eat your money. <laughs> uh, if only life were that simple. 
Okay, let's see. The only thing left I could do is go to the fourth floor. There's only one more door I can go in. So I'll do that now. See, there's a good reason I saved the washing machine for last. Because, well, it could do everything it needs to do. You do everything as an aftermath of what I've done before. It's very simple. Here we go. That's what I wanted. So let's go to quality control. You remember when I was blasting those freaking rareware containers? Well, Jiggy's over here. You know what the weird thing is, though? There's a jump pad here. They have that there just in case you somehow manage to get back there with Banjo or Kazooie. Which, uh, well, with the abilities I have right now, I can't. But with later abilities, I actually could. You'll see what I mean in the next level, but enough about that. Let's get the hell out of here before I die to these. Let's go back and beat Banjo Kazooie. There's only a little bit left to do. I can double check that to make sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm safe in regards to finding everything here. I should have all the honeycomb pieces. Uh, I always have to double check because I never know exactly how much of everything I have. Okay, I know where the last ten notes are, I know where the last Cheeto page is, and there are three Jiggies. Only, um, one of which I can get? Yep, I know where the last one is. That's an easy one. In fact, that's where I was heading to next. Alright, so we got everything so far. Good. I'm glad I'm starting to remember where everything is. It's so much more helpful than being lost. I'm trying to find everything. Like I wasn't pterodactyl land. That wasn't fun. But this is fun. Okay. All that's left is the basement. And not just the basement from the workers' course, the air conditioning plant. Or the aircon plant for short, apparently. Now. I need to find my way up there. Which is right there. Yay! Ugh, jeez. Damn, I'm still burping up McDonald's. I feel bad. Ugh. Damn, McDonald's. It's kind of gross. At least that's how I felt about it. It felt kind of gross. Alright. I'm gonna need grenades for this. Also, Cheeto Page right there. However, I can kind of cheat if I'm fast enough. Which is pretty hard to do. You can do it, but it's hard. Great. I fell down the shaft, so now I'm trapped. Unless... Oh, boy! What the hell? <laughs> what is that? Enormous toilet cleaner. I would hope that's not what that is. It doesn't... It, I don't know much about mechanical toilet cleaners, but I just know you can use a freaking, like, brush. Weird, like... Smooth, but... Somewhat liquidy brush. You just get some of the crap out of your toilet edge. Definitely not the toilet seat. That's more for wipes. Ooh. Weldar, the visually impaired welding torch. Visually impaired? Ooh, they even gave his face some rust on the thing. That's pretty cool. Bears aren't allowed in the building? Could you say that about any animal? I'm not a bear. <laughs> huh. You forgot your glasses. That sucks. Oh, you're still gonna go after me? Damn you! That's not what I was hoping for. Turn up the power dial. Ah! Ah! Ow! Fuck. Okay, have your grenade eggs ready so you can blast them into his mouth. So it messes him up a little bit. Because he has flammable gas. A few nuts and bolts. I don't want to play that game, though. Not a lot of people do. Not to be mean, but you know. You know the drill. Eat that? Yeah! Perhaps if I use my weight. Oh no! Don't make me come after you. So, yeah, he, his last attack is resort to chasing after you. And yes, this is his last attack. You'll see why. And now he just goes back to the center to be an asshole. With a nice deep wahey. 
And now the second half of the fight, which is a lot harder. So, he decides to hit the emergency switch to electrocute the entire freaking floor. So you go through all the shit you just went through, except now you have to be careful for the freaking grid floor. Ow, you dick. He'll drag you into it, too, so make sure you have plenty of health before you come here. You want to make sure you're in a good corner where he can't really throw you into the electrical part. That's why I would be here if I were you. Just try a blaster grenade early if you see he's about to suck you in. And here, just make sure you jump while you're running on Kazooie. Just don't be stupid about it. This thing's annoying to run away from. Come on. Oh, I was hoping you would do that earlier. Oh, I should be able to handle him. Alright, time for the last hit. Eat this. Yeah, bitch. Done. Your welding days are certainly over. That's what he is, a giant welder. Oh, yeah. He even damaged the freaking control box. Awesome! Ooh! Did it break the motor? That would be good. Yeah, that thing's slowing down. Looks like it broke the motor to, uh... Whatever the giant air conditioning thing is. Oh, wow! Even opened a vent so I could go to the, uh, fan there. Or behind it. Splendid. So, how do you feel? I should have told you not to lose your head, but I guess it's too late now. Yeah, you're in bad shape. You're gonna need to repair yourself. Oh, wow. That's my prize, a way out. Well, that works, but that's a little bit ridiculous. Oh, thanks for that. I mean, I knew it was there, but thanks for giving Banjo and Kazooie the uh, reference they needed to know for me to take them there to begin with. Now they have a reason for knowing they have to go there. Thanks, Weldar. Now if you'll excuse me, I got some shit to climb. Oh yeah, baby. Whew. So that's a pretty fun fight, huh? And a long way to climb. Oh <laughs> boy. Nothing like climbing a ladder forever. Thankfully they automatically jump you off in the direction you want to go in anyway, so... If you just hold up all the way up the ladder, it's like, oh, you want to jump over here? No problem, we got it for you. So nice and convenient of Rare to do that for you. Getting rid of the hard jumping part. It's nice for a convenience thing, that's for sure. Okay, let's go get that jiggy and get the hell out of here. Because that's the only thing left I can get. Let's just say the other two I need require a little bit of extra baggage. Does that make any sense? <laughs> Probably not. But you'll see what I mean. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here and uh, I guess we'll open up the other levels. Not really much else I could do. Yeah, I can, op I can open up all the other levels. There we go. How good is that? Yeah, get away from me, you weird giant wrench guy. I hate your shit. Okay, we good? I think so. So let me climb up that pipe now. May as well reach the last major area I need to reach. Let's go, Kazooie! Let's go up that wall. Follow the tracks. Certainly we'll find where the end of this is. It's time to reveal where the last level is located. Well, it'll be right up here. Get all the way up here. And well, you just need enough jiggies to get in, which 55 jiggies are needed. I have enough to get in here. <laughs> oh, you can warp to the secret temple? Oh, that's so convenient. Oh my God. I'll do that. Just let me activate this first. Wow. In all my time playing this game, I never knew you could just warp to the secret sacred temple. That is extremely convenient and awesome. 
please take me over. Damn. That saves us a lot of time. Oh, it puts me right on top of the Jiggy. Awesome. Wow, it's like a time warp without me having a time warp. Thanks for doing all the effort for me, Jiggy Wiggy. Okay, so the next level we'll be going into has a lot of fire in it. A lot of beautiful fire. Mmm, baby. Nothing gets me like a hot lava bath. Probably not safe, but you know, it feels comfortable. Hey, it's better than sauna pants. <laughs> oh, what a stupid item. Sauna pants. I mean, I've, I've heard of some stupid items to buy before, but sauna pants are just up there. Really bad. If you need to feel the heat, you can freaking, I don't know, bask in the sun. Use a heater. Don't freaking get pants that freaking throw steam on your legs. It's a terrible idea. What about the rest of your body, huh? Why only your legs? Not to mention, you could probably get burns. I wouldn't trust a product like that, neither should you. That's why there are so many bad, as seen on TV products. Ugh. I mean, I've seen worse, but that's among the worst. Okay, so. Anyway, ignoring that, let's just see what the next level is. This fire and ice door. While well, we see what's inside. It's the next level, of course. Now shatter. Yeah, you shattered beautifully. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jiggy Wiggy. And now I can open the next level as well. That was for 36. This one's for 45. This would have to be the last major level, I believe. Yeah, look at this level, huh? Oh, wow. I actually showed him activating the freaking warp pad. Whoa, that like magnetized. That was pretty convenient. Because I know I didn't try to do that. Oh, shit. I gotta pay attention to where Banjo is. Anyway, this level looks like a weird cave. Of course, thankfully they're actually hiding what this level really is. But this cave is in the center of the level, I'll tell you that much. Exactly how much importance it has, you'll have to wait and find out until we get there in a couple of weeks. Damn it. This is going to be the longest running playthrough for the rare Marathon Marathon. But it works. I mean, we're only a week into the new year and I'm having a good time with all the rare games. And, uh, Mario Party 3 Story Mode is finally ending soon. So there's that as well. Ah. I'm having a lot of fun with the games I've been playing recently. We live in my childhood with old rare classics that built me into the gamer I am, and Mario Party, which built my button mashing skills and dickishness in video games. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's been a great time we live. And uh, yeah, I've been doing these videos for about uh, four years now. It's been a fun four years, and I don't know how many more I'll do, but I hope the fun will keep on rising. BAM! And now, I have a bubble. Ah, beautiful, beautiful bubbles. But now I have enough for one more challenge. Thanks to the convenience of the Jiggies, Jiggies, the Jinjos I've gotten, I can do the next one. So yeah, this looks final levelish, doesn't it? I would hope you'd say yes, because if you didn't think this was towards the last level, well. I would question exactly what you would picture the last level to be like. Jeez. I can't believe I'm nailing those pictures right. Oops. Still, yeah. See? Like I said, that last level. You can tell from the scenery that it's definitely dangerous. Although you only see him hanging on a ledge, so he's really not spoiling a lot, but... You can see the dangers ahead. So that's one thing to look forward to, I guess. It's gonna be tough to get in there, but with all the jiggies you earned up to this point, I'm pretty sure it's a worthy challenge for you. Which, by the way, you're pretty much gonna need every single ability you can think of in order to get in there in the first place. So, you know, note up. 
because you don't need notes to get through doors like you did with Banjo Kazooie. Instead, you need notes just to get your moves. Which, actually, I think I do have the moves necessary in order to get into the uh, place, but there's still more moves to get. Because unlike Banjo Kazooie, where you had all your moves before the last two or three levels, well, there's always something new to learn in all the levels in this game. With the exception of that one, Cauldron Keep. What a fitting name for a witch's last level. I don't have enough to... I don't have enough jiggies for the last challenge? Man, you bum. What's this? When fortune smiles, here will be written the jiggy secrets. When fortune smiles, huh? You mean when I enter the right cheat? Because there's a cheat that makes those come up. I think it might be called Jiggy Secrets. I don't remember, but there is a cheat that allows you to find, like, hints for certain Jiggies on his, uh, signposts. In case you're really lost, you can do that cheat and, uh, find out your way. Let's see. There's not really anything else I can think of doing right now. I got all this stuff in, uh, Isle of Hags, with the exception of turning in the Cheeto pages, but I knew, I know that already. Oh yeah, there's a Jinjo up there. Let's go get him, and then we'll end this episode. On a good note. So we're getting really close to the end of the game now. Only a couple levels left to go. Oh, and the next one's pretty hefty. You remember Click Clock Wood, how it had three, it had four different versions of the world to go through? Well, well, it's not exactly like that, but... Well, you can expect that there's going to be plenty of variation in the environment, so to speak. You'll see what I mean. Ooh! I got the purple Jinjo. Ow! Thanks for the jiggy. <laughs> that was painful. Alright. Now we are going to keep the dragon forward as we go through, because, well... The dragon might actually be useful for something in this level. So, this fire and ice place sounds like fun. Come back next time, we'll see exactly what this level holds. Which hopefully is going to be a lot of fun. I'm sure it will. Burning and freezing to death. Both my favorite forms of dying. And torture. But more importantly, torture. <laughs>